does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, can we switch up all the rules? Hey guys, finally back with a new video. Sorry for my absence. I've just been a little crazy busy. So we're starting off with brows. I'm using the dark brunette brow sculpting pencil by Hourglass. I definitely think that this is my favorite pencil to grab now. I lost both caps. I don't know how that happened, but anyways. So I'm just going to be doing short strokes throughout the brow, towards the tail, and you know, outlining the beginning of the brow. On the bottom is always how I start, and then I go towards the tail and just fill in any sparse areas. But I always start at the base of the brow and then just kind of push up and blend out with this wooly. To set them, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills gel for the brows. And then I'm going to use P. Louise's base with a cut crease brush from Sigma. This is a really good brush to use when you're trying to define the brow and kind of conceal that. And then also just kind of bring it down and, you know, make a nice opaque layer for your eyeshadow. I've been loving the Blue Louise base. I super, super, super recommend it. And yeah, so I'm just making sure that there's a nice opaque base on there, nice layer, and that it's super, super smooth and not skippy or anything like that. So I kind of like pat through. I'm using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette today because you guys wanted me to use this palette again. So I'm using an M518 brush by Morphe and the Burnt Orange and I'm just going in the crease area kind of bringing it out towards the end of the brow and just doing swiping and windshield wiping motions. Just kind of going in a circle if you will. Going in and out of the inner corner and then back to the outer corner. Just kind of getting a transition going. Then I'm using Sienna and a MAC 20. 221. Why can't I talk today? Sorry guys. And I'm going to put it on the outer V going into the crease. We are going to do a kind of soft eye but something that's a little bit more glamorous. You know what I'm saying? I love this shade Mulberry using the same brush. Just going to darken the outer V. Bring it in just a little bit towards the inner lid and then just blend it out with the M518 again. Just darkening it and smoking it out. And then we're going to use this beautiful shade bronze. And I'm using a 239 brush from MAC. Oldie but a goodie. I did not wet the brush either. This is completely dry. And look how gorgeous the pigment of the shadow is. It's just absolutely stunning. And I needed to play with it. I mean, come on. Look how gorgeous it is. I'm going in with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. We're going to just do a simple wing, make it a little bit thicker on the end, but for the most part, just making it skinny towards the inner part of the eye and then just kind of bringing it out. If you guys want a full on liner how to with all different kind of liners, I could do cream liners, I could do clip pot liners clay liners, whatever you guys want, this specific li uh, liquid liner, let me know on the comments below and I will do a specific liquid liner video. Using Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara and just putting those on those lashes. And for the face, we are starting with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Base. Love this stuff. It just feels super, super moisturizing in the face and I just feel like it really makes my skin a little bit more supple and ready for foundation. I'm going to pop on some lashes first. I'm using Sugar by Gigi Bell Lashes. We are having a summer sale right now, 30% off. Just use code SUMMER at checkout and you guys will save 30%. Get them before they're gone because we are actually running low on some stock of lashes so if you guys want to grab them before they're out of stock i would definitely do that moving on to the rest of the face i'm using an f80 brush by sigma and the becca aqua luminous foundation in tan this is my favorite favorite foundation to use for summer it just is perfect shade of my tan skin in the summer it's literally perfect it stays on super nice i'm not 
crazy sweating with it on. It's a nice medium coverage, so I do get to cover if I have any blemishes or anything, but it's not super heavy where I'm like, oh my god, get this off my skin. You know what I mean? So I'm using Laura Mercier's Flawless Fusion Concealer in, I think this is 3W. Yes, 3W. And I'm just going to put this underneath the eyes and on the bridge of the nose and I'm blending it out with a quickie blending sponge by Tarte and we're just gonna blend that through love this concealer it's become my new favorite right now but there's so many others that I have to try you guys it's kind of crazy I'm trying to film as much as possible because I miss you guys so much, number one. Number two, I've been so crazy busy, so I want to make sure that I get as many videos out as I can for you guys. Testing out the new Banana Bread Huda Beauty Baking Powder. Absolutely love this right now. I'm still in the works of how much powder I have to use because I used a lot at first, and I don't know if I was so crazy about how it looked. But when I used it this night, it came out beautiful. It was like the perfect amount without being super light underneath the eyes or underneath the cheekbones. So I will let you guys know exactly how much you should use. But right now, I feel like less is a little bit more with that. Using Soleil Bronzer by Laura Mercier. absolutely love this right now. I'm using their bronzer brush as well beautiful beautiful shade of bronzer and it's just blends with my skin super nice right now and it is probably just my favorite bronzer to go to right now so I'm just putting it on all the edges of faces of the faces of my face so the cheekbones the chin area the jaw the temples the nose area anywhere I want to be nice and tan from the Tarte Blush Volume 2, I'm using an F10 and the Heated Blush. I love that color. And then I'm going in with Sienna and an E30 from Sig- Or I think this is an E- Is it an E35? I actually think it is. Yeah, I think it's E35. Sorry, guys. So I'm putting that underneath the eyes and just going to put some more mascara on the lower lashes. And finish them off that. Gonna wipe away any powder with this Hourglass brush that I got from there. Baking powder. Love that brush. And I'm using Glistening and Fairy to put that in the inner corner using the 239 again. Just kind of pop that in there. And then I'm also going to put it on the brow bone as well. And for highlight, I'm using the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette in Bronze Sands. How gorgeous is she? I love her freaking faces on these products. So stunning. Love the packaging. Not going to be giving you the guys the finger, but I'm using Barbados, the cream highlighter. So creamy, so beautiful over a powder or a liquid. It really does blend super, super nicely. So I'm just putting that everywhere on the nose, on the bridge of the nose, the lips. And yeah, I'm just blending that all out. But it really, really does look super, super pretty. And just like a natural summer glow. I love it. Yours. Moving on to lips, I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Coconut Lip Liner. Love this super nude liner. I'm just going to put it on the entire lip and just blend it all out. Her lip liners are absolutely my favorite because they just are so silky. And then for the liquid lip, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics One Wish. Beautiful peach nude. Actually obsessed with this color. And I'm just putting this all over. I'm just blending it out. But it really is like such a pretty peach nude. It's like one that I've been looking for actually for a while. I'm setting with the Rose Fix Plus and that is it you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Thumbs it up, please, for me. It helps a lot. And I promise I have a bunch of videos coming out, you guys. I have a fashion haul, I have another makeup tutorial, and I will be filming another makeup tutorial this week. So please let me know exactly what you guys want to see below, and I will be sure to read those comments. Love you guys. Bye.